Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a Christmas card that I made for the Stampin' Dreams uh, blog hop that I was on on Thursday. Um, and um, the theme was the new mini catalogue. So I have used two sets from the mini catalogue to make this card. I've taken the sentiment from Poncietta Petals and I've used this lovely lots to celebrate stamp set and of course the jar punch so to make my little celebratory drink Christmas card so stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it okay so the set I'm using to make this card is lots to celebrate now I loved this set when I saw it because it had the jar and I really wanted to make jars and um, I didn't particularly like um, the one in the annual catalogue so when I saw this it was like yes I can order the jar and I can make jars because I've got loads and loads of ideas for making jars and um, and they're just some great sentiments and um, so uh, I'm using uh, that stamp and that stamp as well as the jar and I'm going to take the Happy Christmas from Poncietta Petals um, it's um, this stamp set is actually bigger than the pictures, quite a bit bigger than the pictures um, on the catalogue, on the catalogue, on the um, front of the box. So the Happy Christmas is, Merry Christmas is quite big. So um, that's what I wanted uh, for this card. Uh, so I am doing it in Night of Navy, love Night of Navy. And I've got um, some Whisper White for the front and some Whisper White for the inside. I have a spare Whisper White because I've just filmed a video and I went wrong. So <laughs> I've got one ready in anticipation. So let's get our stamping done. So I've got the danglies and the star. And I'm just going to stamp a row all the way across there. Um, to give it a nice border. Haven't got my Night of Navy stamp ink pad. There was me thinking I was all ready and I wasn't. So all I'm doing is inking that up and I'm just going across the top. Just going to leave a little bit of a gap. putting this across the top. There's a gap at the top, that does not bother me. I'm going to bring in another one of these because this is a brand new mat and I managed to get a bit of ink on it in the last film. I've done that very well. Let's see what it looks like when I put the stars on. I may turn it over. So these match up. on there quite nicely. It's easier when you can get your head right over it, which is harder to do when you're filming. There we go. So that's my little row all the way along the top there quite happy with that. I'm just going to put this, close this for a minute, give this a good wash because I've got ink on the corner. It's quite a juicy stamp, that one. Okay, oh, let's clean that one as well, although I do need that in a sec. There we go put them away just yet. So I'm going to get my Happy Christmas and I'm going to stamp that so that I kind of know where I want to put my jar. So I'm going to use my grid mat to help me keep that straight.
There we go. It's not very straight, is it, really? It's straight enough. I'm quite happy with that. And so now I can see where that is. This is the thrill to go around the neck of the jar, but I'm using it as a bit of a pedestal. So I'm stumping that down there. Like so. And then I've got some scrap. This was from a mistake in the last video I filmed, which you could have possibly seen about a week ago. So stumping that down like so. And then I'm using that again. I'm going to bring in this and I am just going to stamp up the edge here because I'm going to make a straw. So just going to make these random until we get a sort of like a stripy straw what I'm going for. There we go. That is everything I think that I wanted to stamp. So I'm going to give those a clean so that I don't smudge. I think it's really easy to get dark colours on you. And then you smudge everything. So give them a good scrub. Oh, I do want, I was staring at it as well, so I do want to stamp this. I'm going to stamp it and fussy cut it out. So, that's just going to go. On there like so. Fabulous. Right. Yeah. Move them all out of the way for now. Right. So um, I'm gonna bring in my little Bring that in because it's here. So I'm just cutting a quarter of an inch off here for the straw. So that's a little straw. And then I want it to be like a bendy straw. So I'm going about three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to score a line, move it just a smidge, just a smidge, just a smidge. That is a very technical term. And then we can sort of use those to sort of bend our straw over a little bit so it can overlap give us the effect of a bendy straw and we can decide how far over we need it to go and we will be chopping a bit of that off um, and then I want to give the effect that there is some liquid in this I'm going to do a little bit of watercolour in um, I think I'm going to use a watercolour pencil for this. Am I? Have I got Knight of Navy in there? Got the Pacific Point and um, Bermuda Bay. Now I'm going to stick with my what I did originally. Did a little prototype. I'm going to stick with that idea actually. So I'm going to use a little, take that off there. 
get myself a little bit of ink on there. Get my aqua painter. I need to get the new the new painters because they've um, they've got um, a wider brush which would be absolutely superb for this. So I'm gonna take off some and I'm just gonna wash that across like that. And then just fill in the top of this in as well. So that's that's that. That's all I want to do with that. Just clean my brush so it's not blue the next time I use it. Move that out of the way so I don't stick my finger in it. So we just need to now punch out our jar. Love this jar, just sparks joy whenever I look at it. So that's going to sit on there. And then we're just going to fussy cut the, the jar lid. And we're making like a jinx jar that you get in trendy bars and you can buy as Christmas present. Nearly every Christmas one of our silly little presents is generally somebody buys one of these jars that always come with a straw. So I do have quite a few of them so that is one of the things that I quite like when I saw the jar. Was I could do that. It was after seeing my teammate Pat. She did it. And I was like, genius. Absolutely genius. So that's going to stick on there. So we're going to have that going in. So we need to cut it off about there. And I knew there was a reason for keeping that paint. I kind of washed a little bit over the straw as well so it looked like it was actually in the water. Like so, little touches makes the difference. So, and now I just need to have a little hole in here for um, for that to go down. I've got to take my little craft knife, which I thought was there, moved it, there it is, so need a little mat a little cutting mat and I'm just going to could use trimmer but I'm just gonna slit a little bit in there so that I can push the straw through Try not to cut my fingers off. Check if that is wide enough, not quite. I think that will be done. And 
that can get pushed in. I think my nail's done too long this time, so I'm quite looking forward to getting them cut down in a couple of days. And then that will make little jobs like this a tad easier. There, that's definitely done it. So that can now go through and that will go in there quite nicely. I might just snip a little tad off the end there where it's got a bit bent and then I'm going to get a little bit of Tombow to make that bend in the straw stick down so I'm going to put a bit on the back here so that that side sticks down just hold it for a sec and then put a bit on this side so that that holds down And then you can stick a bit of glue on the inside there so that the straw gets held in place on the lid. And we decide where we want it to go. Now we can stick it down. Like so, and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back to stick it to the card. But I'm going to stick the card to the card front first because that'll be easier to stick down than when that's popped up. So it's a great blog hop to go on because you'll get to see lots and lots of new products so if you're still making your wish list from the catalogue because it hasn't been out that long then this might help you decide what you want if there's a few things you've seen and you're like oh I'm not sure then um, this is a really good opportunity to um, have a little look see There like that. And then we'll have a bit bit along the straw. Kind of take that from the side of this. The straw is held in place. Now we want a bit down the straw. Take that. There we 
Okay. I'll just take these bits off. Just check. Yep. So it is. I thought of the sort of a bit of a play on words. Merry Christmas. You get merry, don't you, when you have a little tipple? And this is a little tipple. Made me chuckle to myself. Might not be obvious to everybody when they look at it. But they were my thoughts. So, stand that there on a little pedestal. And then, because it's Christmas, want a little bling. So I'm just going to stick a few rhinestones around. So. Gonna stick one up there. One there. One there. And that's it. That's my card. So I just need to put one of these on the inside to finish it off because you can't really write on Night of Navy. Could always do a bit of stamping on the inside if you wanted to as well. I'm just going to leave this as it is. Just have that ready for when I want to write it. So, hope you like that. Hope you'll go and check out the blog um, because there'll be a link to the blog hop and you'll be able to see what everybody else has done. And uh, I hope you like that, that idea for, for that set. Okay, see you again soon. Bye-bye.